Welcome to the Mastering Cassandra video course by Pact Publishing. In this course, we will quickly master the basics to start building our own web-based application with Cassandra. My name is C.Y. Khan. I've been designing and developing large-scale web applications for more than 15 years. I love many software technologies, such as Java, JavaScript, Cassandra, Big Data, Service-Oriented Architecture, Mobile Applications, and so on. I'm the author of two other e-learning courses, Cassandra Administration and Rapid Cassandra, and the book Cassandra Data Modeling and Analysis, also published by Pact Publishing. This is the very first video. Here you'll have an overview of this course. We're going to take a look at the structure of this course as a whole and the topics included in each section. This course is divided into 10 sections. Section 1, Introducing Java Web Development. It gives general background knowledge of using Java to develop web applications, including web and persistence frameworks. It also highlights the high-level design of the demo application to be developed over the course, called Cassandra Web Trader. Next, we'll set up and configure our development environment, which covers the installation of the Java Development Kit, the integrated development environment, the very large Spring Framework family, the configuration of Apache Tomcat, and Maven. In Section 3, we'll start designing the demo application by going through the process of collecting user requirements, the logical design of the modules and functions, the data model in Cassandra, the Java class model, and the screen layout design one by one. To build the demo app faster and easier, we need to get familiar with the Spring framework and its sub-projects, for example, the Spring Core framework, Spring MVC, Spring Security, Spring Data Cassandra, and Spring Integration. We'll learn the necessary Spring components while we're developing the demo application. Next, we'll dive deep into Spring Data Cassandra, which is not very comprehensively documented. In Section 5, we'll build the Cassandra data model, as well as the persistence layer using Spring Data. In Section 6, we'll turn to the business and presentation layers. Moreover, we'll enable Cassandra Web Trader as a responsive web application by using a well-known JavaScript framework, Bootstrap. Now we come to Section 7. We'll internationalize the application, build the stock watch list, retrieve stock data, render technical charts, and allow members to register. Section 8 continues where Section 7 has left off. We'll develop the remaining functions, such as member login, trading signals, email alert, and user authorization. In Section 9, we'll complete the development part and prepare the application ready for production deployment. To get the most out of this course, you should have some basic knowledge of the Java programming language, administration of a Cassandra database, and some Linux commands. I hope you enjoy this journey. We now know the course structure and its pace. We also listed out the preferred knowledge and skills to experience the course most effectively. Next, we'll take a look at web application technologies.